Singapore will double down on digitalization to seize emerging opportunities, but at the same time, make this more inclusive and secure. Minister in charge of Smart Nation and Cybersecurity, Josephine Teo, said this during the ministry's Committee of Supply debate. Now, responding to MPs, she says Singapore has made good progress in its Smart Nation journey. This includes websites and apps that are helping the country respond to COVID-19. Mrs. Cho also notes satisfaction and use of digital government services have gone up. There are many exciting opportunities to capture in the next bound of our Smart Nation journey. Even as we speak, the digital future of smart cities, sustainability, finance, education and healthcare is being reshaped. Technologies like 5G and autonomous systems will continue to mature and give us opportunity to reimagine our schools, hospitals, workplaces and even our heartlands. A new e-wallet has also been launched for the government to disburse money and credits to citizens. It's among enhancements to government digital apps to make them convenient for more people. The SingPass app is also now available in all four official languages and more digital identity cards will be available. Geraldine Yap tells us more. It's a new e-wallet option for the government to safely and quickly disperse payouts to citizens on the Life SG app. Called GovWallet, it means giving access to more people who can use the funds even without a bank account. The Defence Ministry is already using the feature to distribute national service recognition benefits. The e-wallet is also being used for workfare income supplement payouts. Merchants don't have to be trained and be used to another e-payment mode because what GovWallet does is it actually leverages the PayNow ecosystem. So whatever merchants that's already onboarded with SGQR PayNow or sign up as a PayNow merchant, uh, the users with GovWallet can actually spend in front of the stores uh, by scanning their SGQR code. The team is now looking at using the Nets payment ecosystem to provide more spending options for GovWallet users. At the same time, the SingPass app is now in Singapore's four official languages to make it accessible to more people. The public can submit feedback on the translations through a survey form in the app. Let me assure members that we will always try to offer alternatives for those who are less comfortable with digital services or cannot access them. This includes telephone services. Other new features that will soon be in the app include a digital driving license, as well as a function to allow business owners to retrieve basic company information, such as awarded government contracts.